want more of me? Me? Go to MeTVFresno.com for schedules, information on your favorite shows, videos, pictures, and more. Go to MeTVFresno.com today. Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV. Hi, I'm John Malos, and welcome to Connect With Me on this Business Tuesday. It's the focus on business right here on Connect With Me, live on the Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6. Today, the focus will be, hey, if you drive up the hill, you'll run into Erna's Elderberry House. It's been there for years. We'll have the two owners in our studio live. 265-4331 is the number. Today is the focus on business and it should be a very fun program today because we have two guests in the studios. The owner of the Elderberry Estate up in Oakhurst, uh, just a 40-45 minute drive up the hill from downtown Fresno. It's beautiful. You know, if you have a bucket list, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but if you do, you ought to put this on your bucket list. I have a book in front of me right in here. It's called A Thousand Places to See Before You Die. Erna's Elderberry House and the Chateau and the Villa and all the rest, it, they're in this book, A Thousand Places to See. This is one of them, Before You Die, and it's only 45 minutes out of town. Let's go to the videotape, and I'll show you exactly what I am talking about. Erna's Elderberry House is nestled in a beautiful plot in the Sierra Nevada Mountains, just off of Highway 41 on the outskirts of Oakhurst. Look at that view from the Chateau. Beautiful. Altogether, there's about nine acres, four different buildings. There's the restaurant. There's the Chateau. There is the Villa. Oh, and my goodness. Let's not leave out the spa. You might think that you're in heaven, or at the very least, the south of France, enjoying mm, maybe a Sunday brunch, uh, maybe a glass of wine, maybe a dip in the jacuzzi, a walk through the woods, whatever. If you don't want to fly to Europe, you don't have to. You can have the French flair right here in the Central Valley or up in Oakhurst. As for the restaurant, it has three cozy dining rooms. We'll ask the owners in just a moment about the menu and perhaps Sunday brunch and maybe other times. As for the chateau, 10 rooms. The villa has two uh, rooms. It's a two-room house. And the spa, well, <laughs> it's a spa. All are decorated in traditional European style with antiques and tapestries from the 19th century. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the helm of this project is the owner. The brainchild behind it all is Erna kuban Clannan. Born in Vienna during the war, she came to this country back in 1962, landing in New York with a dream to build a fairy tale estate. There she is right there with a few twists and turns, a couple of bumps in the road. She moved out west and did exactly that. Live in our studio now is Erna kuban Clannan and her husband sitting next to her, Renee Clannan. Her and her husband both own the Elderberry Estate in the mountains, about 45 minutes north on Highway 41. But you know what, my friends? It's, it's the, it's, you know, it's so beautiful up there. It's gorgeous. But you got to have a little bit of cash to go up there. It's a little pricey. But you know what? It's well worth it. 265-4331. If you want to get away for a very romantic weekend, like a weekend getaway with your wife, your girlfriend, your fiance, if you're planning a wedding, 265-4331. We're back to talk to Erna and Renee about how all of this started back in the 80s. Back with our program in just a moment. Frigidaire. We introduce the first home freezer. The first pulsator agitator washer. And now we introduce the Frigidaire Orbit Clean Dishwasher, designed with a unique wash arm that gives you four times more water coverage for a consistently better clean. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. 
I'm telling you, if you got some hidden money, like if you have a can, like a coffee can with like thousands of dollars in cash buried in the backyard someplace, <laughs> under your shed, under your house, who knows? Maybe you inherited a million dollars from a rich uncle or a rich aunt. You've got to check out Ernest Elderberry House up in the mountains in Oakhurst. Look at this book. It says 1,000 places to visit before you kick the bucket before you die. Erna's is the place you got to go to. We've got Erna right here. We've got her husband. He's a fantastic guy, Renee. How are you? Doing great. Thanks great. Erna, here. you Hi. look beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so how did all this get started? I mean, uh, it's such a gorgeous place. How did it get started and what kind of clientele do you appeal to? Other than the fact you have to have a little bit of cash to go up there. Well, people who, um, well, how did it get started? Let's say yeah, this. let's start there. Uh, I, <laughs> right. In 84 is when we built the restaurant. I wanted to have my own restaurant, my own place, after losing twice the lease of a place that I operated in, once right. uh, in Los Angeles and once in Vavona, in Yosemite. Right. So um, there was an opportunity. I had saved uh, my money of uh, six years working at the park and I was going to buy a property and this became available it's a hillside and when you're on a hill you always overlook everything so yes. that's always much more attractive than in I, the valley. I'm impressed with your story because this is a typical story about an immigrant who came here from Vienna 1962 you landed in New York you had no money it's zero zero dollars all right, you had a coat that was worth what a hundred bucks you <laughs> sold that to come out west to LA you opened up a restaurant there then at some point things changed, your life changed, and you moved to Oakhurst, saved your money, I mean, this is an incredible story, and bought the plot where the Elderberry House sits now. Yes. In 1984. Um, you started with pretty, the restaurant, basically. Pretty much correct, right. Yeah, I, that's an amazing story. I was story. the chef for the first 11 years. I, right. I wanted my, I cooked in Verona as well, together right. with Fernando and my little team. And um, yes, so when we were able to get the funding, and that was not easy, all along it was never easy, you know, yeah. to find uh, people who believed in what I was saying in this little town to build something grand. Um, actually not um, the architecture and everything, not belonging to the area. Let, let's take a quick phone call here. Good morning, you're on Connect With Me. How are you? Fine, thank you very much. I wanted to uh, uh, tell uh, Renee and Erna it's a great place. Uh, destination dining, I think is what they call it. Thank you. It's, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Place. It's such a special place. Some VIPs, I'm sure, have made their way up there. Could, uh, could you... Could you share with the viewers maybe uh, some of the VIPs uh, without revealing too much about uh, uh, your clientele, but uh, who, who's been up there that we might know? Are you talking about Hollywood stars? Is that what you're getting at? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, we can't, we can't reveal too much because there's a privacy issue here, but there is some stuff on the Internet that you can reveal about who's actually been up there. Before I say that, I would like to see every one of my guests who enters the door is a VIP. I, okay. I treasure them, and I, uh, I'm delighted that they come to experience what we offer. So right. they all deserve the special treatment. Uh, yes, uh, we do have entertainment people. Mm, in Famous the, people uh, like Robert De Niro has been there, Barbara um, Streisand. I mean, that's all on yeah. the Internet, so you can kind of reveal that. But uh, the, right. this is just an example of some of the high clientele that, that's people actually from passed the through there. Sports World, um, mm -hmm. Kobe Bryant. Uh, uh, we can say that it is a delicate thing. You do want to, um, right. you know, respect their privacy. So we try right. to, whenever we have them, we tell our staff, please, no word of them. They, they go under a different name right. in the book, so nobody gets too excited. But yeah. there are people like you and I, and they really seek that privacy when they come there. Right. It's not like when they're in um, a Ritz Carlton where they want the publicity. I, I can think of mm. one fond memory I had one summer day opening the door mm -hmm. of the front of the restaurant, oh. which occasionally happens midday when they don't see the front of the chateau for a check-in. And as I'm opening the door, I hear this voice that's so familiar. <laughs> and, I, and I thought to myself, as the door is just opening, if that's not Dick Clark, I don't know who it is. <laughs> and as I open the door, Dick Clark in Bermuda shorts and a t-shirt was asked me for directions to the front of the chateau, which is just a few 
yards <laughs> away. It was Dick Clark. Amazing. And so, what was his demeanor like? Uh, friendly oh, guy? Super nice. F just as cordial as, just like he, as natural and normal as you'd ever want to meet. Mm-hmm. Just, just great. I mean, I'm sure you have a thousand and one stories like that. I'm, I'm sure that you can't reveal yeah, because the privacy issue. Early stories. Yeah, I know, but still, it's it's the yeah, you know, lots let's, of Star Wars people. Uh, had. Star Wars. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah. Let's and go Spock. to the video. Um, let's go to the videotape as we. Doctor Spock was there. Yeah. Let's go to the videotape because I want to take you inside the restaurant. This is where it all began back in 1984. You were the cook there. Uh, you can look at that monitor. Or you can look up there, whichever is easiest on your neck there. Um, <laughs> so this all started in 1984. We're looking at one of the three dining rooms right now that you have there. It's just absolutely, just, I mean, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, you can use any adjective that you want there, Erna. <laughs> now, which dining room is this? Uh, this is the front dining room, the sun room, the bar. We, we named the dining rooms after legendary chefs. And um, Chef Van was uh, one of the most amazing French chefs, uh, an innovative chef, so we named this one after him. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish the light would be a little better, but uh, you see the fuse from well, all the, the windows. that's the view out the window there right. of the, uh, the mountains, yes. the Sierra Nevada mountains. Uh, you know, right. it's, uh, it's the beautiful. The little town of Ocrest below, as mm -hmm. we are on the hill, I said. Mm -hmm. And this is the Escoffier. Uh, dining room. Um, it, the walls are kind of ox blood red, dark. People love it. Um, it's a very. That's um, my favorite dining room. Very I love great that. for ladies. Yeah. Uh, we all look a little better in in that light. <laughs> uh, and and so Renee, um, your wife designed this entire building. Absolutely. She designed it from scratch, and you helped. Every, did you help construct it? Not the restaurant. Okay. We've been together since 1988. Okay. And then things got quiet. I was originally an optometrist down the street here at Cedar and Tulare. <laughs> and after 1988, things got busier and busier. And we built a hotel in, in 91 and the spa and the villa. And she designs everything. She's way too modest about her design talent. You just draw it out on paper what you want? Or how do you do that? No. What do you do on the computer? I or what do you do? Then I share it with right, uh, right. whoever helps me do it, like right. um, Gary Browns, who is now retired, um, great builder, uh, was a good team with right. me. Uh, he listened. Um, my husband, and any time we buy an antique or something unusual, uh, he says, we need to figure out how to make this work, and, and he does. we got to take a commercial break here on Connect With Me. It is the Elderberry House that we're talking about. We're talking about the restaurant, the chateau, the villa, the spa. It's a beautiful weekend getaway for you and your wife and your loved ones. Back <laughs> with your phone calls, 265-4331 in just a moment. When you need to talk to a private eye. You want to be talking to Jim Rockford. That's right. He's the one to talk to. They don't know who you're talking to. R-O-C-K-F-O-R-D. He's got everyone talking. What kind of low life is he? Takes out half-page ads in a phone book. I seem to recall a phrase, moderately intelligent private detective. You have a smart mouth. You're right. You're right, I do. But I'm working on changing that. Jim Rockford is all the talk on MeTV. He's something else, all right. Weekdays at 11, 10 Central on MeTV. You know, I'm sure you've heard, you know, before I die, I want to play one round of golf at Pebble Beach. You heard Jack Nicklaus say that, you know, before I die, I want to play that last round at Pebble Beach, and you've heard other people say that. Well, before you die, you've got to check out Erna's Elderberry House, even if you don't stay there. Gee, go up there and check the estate out. It's just absolutely gorgeous. You know, it's right before you go down the hill to Oakhurst. It's, it's right in the area right there. It's about 40 minutes outside of Fresno. It's absolutely gorgeous. Got to put this one on your bucket list. We're talking to, of course, uh, Erna kubin Clannon and her husband, Renee Clannon, the owners. Uh, Erna started this whole thing in 1984 before she even met her husband. Okay, she started this whole thing in 84, right? That's correct. <laughs> yes. But we've got to include you because everything in there is custom it's like what 19th century french style exactly. everything yes. in there yes. it's like being in the south of france 
It really is. The restaurant was uh, with that in mind. I love the south of France, and mm -hmm. uh, the cuisine, haute cuisine, comes from France. So, but we are in the country, so I thought I make. And south of France is more Provençal, more country. Let's take you inside yes. the chateau. You've yes. been there like a thousand yes. times. You helped design <laughs> and build this uh, yeah. uh, uh, it, just absolutely amazing building here. We'll take you inside. Now, there's the, there is the outside of the chateau, of course, very familiar. If you go on the Internet and go to the website, that's what it looks like on the outside. What does it look like on the inside? Well, it's coming up here in just a minute. Uh, what are we looking at there, uh, 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 this, this is the Grand Salon, which, um, quote, unquote, is the living room for our guests. Mm -hmm. Uh, when they are staying with us, that it feels like they're in a private home. It's for anybody who wishes to read a book, uh, listen to music. Um, we hide the television because we really want to bring the old world alive, how life used to be. And so I don't like electronics, but they're there. The modern um, uh, Wait a minute, you have things an iPhone. are available. You don't like electronics? You have an iPhone. <laughs> yeah, What's I going do. On here? Well, uh, yeah. you can't do without it anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you talking about? Okay, that's, what are we looking at here, Erna? Oh, that's a beautiful is, it's sculpture. It's a beautiful sculpture on top of the fireplace. It's an enormous uh, lion. It's an antique uh, stone lion. Grand with, piano here, huh? And that's right. That, that's an Erwart piano. That was the piano Franz Liszt used to play with. Mm -hmm. Any time he performed, the, the factory of Erwart used to ship it for him. That's little Mozart, <laughs> the bear. Yeah. <laughs> this is inside one of the rooms, one of the ten rooms inside the chateau. There's the view as we go around the French doors there. They all have uh, little balconies, yeah, right? Yeah, and look at this. Everything in here that you're looking at, talk about the furniture, the drapery, the carpets, the tile. Everything is custom made, yes. right? Yes, uh, the fabrics are all from France. Mm -hmm. um, the tile as well uh, is from France. The limestone hallways. Uh, we imported. We imported everything as we were building, because I believe in authenticity. It, it could not be schizophrenic, but together it had to be with the real thing. So when guests enter, they drive through the gate. They're welcomed by the butler and the chambermaids. They help with the luggage, and they feel they have entered uh, a European estate. So a lot of the furniture, Renee you guys found either on the internet or someplace these are th these are In real through antiques dealers, through, dealers. through our right. dealers through, tra through our travels through right. both right. many of which both in the light fixtures needed retrofitting the North American standards which incorporation into <laughs> Erna's designs um, who built the estate there um, well, Gary Browns uh, was, okay. the, was the builder. Correct. We did not have an architect. Gary and I worked you together. You were the architect, well, basically. He the did all the drafting yeah. and drawing, but yeah. together we, we did the design. And I was very fortunate that Gary listened to me. He didn't make a change or whatever. Every time we said, no, that needs to be lower or higher. This wall needs to be this way. As we were building, um, it was a wonderful collaboration with him. Um, and uh, I had in mind to do something that is what you would find truly in France somewhere. But the tapestry is authentic. Where does it come from? From the little paintings. antique shops, um, for all over searching the world? all over. I had my little book as we were building. Each room had its pages, and I knew my, my specifications and sizes that I had to uh, place something there and I'm allowed to fit there. And, we were searching. <laughs> and we were talking yesterday, Renee, when I went into videotape, I was up there yesterday at the uh, chateau and the villa and saw the restaurant and the whole estate. Uh, you were telling me about some of those custom doors. The doors are authentic that actually came from France? Gorgeous doors lifted out of Parisian apartments. In the uh, villa, yes. In the villa. In the villa. Yes, yes, yes. In, in the, the villa. villa. We're going to take a look at the villa in a moment. In but the but, the, but you custom built the building and the, the archway to fit the doors. That was the beauty of our relationship with Gary. It, that yeah. We could say, okay, these doors go to the bedroom in the salon suite. And they yeah. are solid wood. Oh, they're gorgeous. With a black beautiful walnut. walnut. Yeah. Black, black, black walnut. Walnut. Yeah. yeah. Walnut. With the original hardware from the 1800s, uh -huh. you know. And 
the little tricks, how you lock it. It's it's delightful to see that what has been done and still works. All right, quickly, before we go to break here, we got about 30 seconds. The Chateau, just in case you're interested, cost about, what, five, six hundred dollars a night? Uh, we have one um, from 435 to 550 uh, other night. rooms per night okay. with breakfast and uh, great service um, you want a glass of wine and I mean they are there for you to pamper you to, ma uh, to make you feel special right and uh, that's included in the room right right that's yeah. to just kind of unwind unplug relax you know get the tension out of your body go up there for a weekend and just ah oh, that's the chill pill the elderberry house special. is the chill pill you don't need to take a chill pill you just go to ochre's <laughs> go to the elderberry house that will be your natural chill pill we're back with our two guests at 265-4331 in just a moment hey the phone lines are open and we do have a phone call wait until after the break ventura tv appliance center we're the low price leading brands reliable advice place the whirlpool dream kitchen get yours today place Check this out. Right now, get huge savings on select Whirlpool appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. We do have a phone call for our two guests here talking about the Elderberry House up in Oakhurst. And good morning. You're on Connect With Me. How are you? Uh, fine, yeah. My name is Tim Thompson. I was watching your show here. Yeah. I happen to be one of the painters that was helping paint that place for uh, Charles Kemp, <laughs> the painter that actually painted that place. Yes, all right. It, thank you. <laughs> I'm sure you did a great job. It was 20 years? Well, no, 22 years ago. <laughs> so wh which building did you help paint? Which which part of the, the estate? Oh, uh, we done all of it, the inside and the out. Like oh. the, beans, the, the beans that you showed, I was only like... 17, I started, I was working with my dad. My dad actually first that started with That was the hotel, not the That was the hotel, okay. All right, the chateau then, basically. The chateau. Huh? The chateau. So you worked on the chateau, boy. Yes, and my, so. my boss, he, he was uh, hired from Gary, uh, Gary Brown, like she was talking. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Have you been up there since? Uh, yeah, I've been up there, but not since it's been opened. Yeah, well. But yeah, we, we, we stood it through the winter. We had problems with the snow and everything drying on it, but... Oh, it turned out very nice. <laughs> to say the least, huh? It's beautiful up there. Well, thank you for the call. I appreciate you watching. And, um, you know, call again. And we're going to be talking about the villa next. And, you know, let me ask you something. I mean, this, you know, your wife, Renee, i got to tell you something. Up there, when, when I first met her yesterday, okay, she's got the enthusiasm of a five-year-old. She's the Energizer bunny. <laughs> when you see the, the Energizer commercial I know. on television... Imagine being married to the Energizer Bunny. You talk about a driving force. She's the driving force. You're so enthusiastic about the Elderberry House, which is named after the Elderberry bushes that surround the whole area there. Where did you get this enthusiasm from? I just love what I do. I really, really do. It's fun to create beautiful things and uh, let people enjoy it and make memories for them and had make you them happy. In, had you stayed in Vienna, would you have done the same thing? I studied art. No, I really wanted to do, uh, get into the theater world. My, my dream was to design stages, uh, be in opera, in classic theater. And I started that way, right. to study, and uh, everything fell apart when I came to America. Life well, we changed. Got, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, life changed. That's all yeah, I was going to say. It did. Well, you're living the American dream, i got to tell you. It's amazing. Let's go to the videotape and check out the villa. This will cost you a pretty penny, my friends. This is the outside of it right here. It's a Absolutely house. gorgeous. It's a big house. It's got two bedrooms. That's the interior. It's going to cost you 3000 bucks a night to stay there, by the way. Just, just an added note. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. They have their own garden, their own outdoor, um, uh, the small mini, how, how do you say, it's not a jacuzzi, like a, mm -hmm. it's a, like a pool built. The, your own fountain, you have your own area there, your own butler, 
Yeah, uh, yes, right. That that's the salon there, their living room. You got your own butler inside there. Uh, you have your own butler. There oh, are wow. bells to ring on the wall whenever you need service. The butler sleeps downstairs in a, in a separate bedroom. There's a beautiful balcony. The railings are from Paris. What I've done with this because we had a Hollywood people saying uh, those you are know, the doors, by the way, we yeah. were talking about, right, Renee? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. They they ask for privacy, and the, as uh, as beautiful as the chateau is, there are other bedrooms there, and uh, you are not as private. So the villa is removed. It uh, is a little walk to the chateau. Like I said, it has its own property around it, and uh, you never have to see anybody. If you you get served your breakfast, your dinner there. Um, it has amazing bedding. Um, so a thousand you don't have to pounds. go into the restaurant to eat. They serve you, you there. You don't have to. But everybody, I would say, ninety-nine percent want to go to the restaurant. Okay. But we have a private dining room there. They are you going to tell? Are you telling me that Robert De Niro and Barbara Streisand ate in the dining room? Yes, they, they ate did. in the private dining room. The private dining. The little okay. dining room you saw. You yes. can close the door. Yeah. Barbara <laughs> had a special <laughs> meal prepared for her little dog. Yeah. How about Dick uh, Clark? What did he eat? <laughs> I lost in the contact. Dining room. <laughs> you lost no, contact. He, he, he I only it. met him that one instant. <laughs> yeah, Ozzy uh, ate in the, with Ozzie his family, Osborne with his son Osborne, in the yeah. private dining room. Wow. Sure. They all they come up. Most of them come up. Unless right. it's a couple that they're very much in love and they really uh, right. want to stay down there. Yeah, but you were telling me yesterday that you have a guest list like that, 12,000 people. That have visited um, your place and stayed there and are return guests. We have many return guests. Many. Yeah, we're Some, lucky that way. Uh, they just love. The, uh, we have one especially that just came for Valentine's again. It was the 27th time. Right. And they call uh, the Chateau their country house. Instead of going and having their own house where they have to pay taxes right. and whatever, <laughs> they make this. They know they get pampered. They they are special there. They don't and have no to airplane. worry about yeah. the upkeep. You don't Anything have to, to avoid paying taxes, right? <laughs> That's a good thing, right? All right, let's go to the monitor one more time and take a look at the last piece of videotape, and it's the spa. This is where you want to come and uh, you talk about being pampered. I mean, this is the ultimate in in being pampered here. The spa is all done in Art Deco. So the, the chateau is the country estate. The villa is like Paris at the turn of the century. The spa is done, uh, you know, the sanatoriums and the bath houses in yes. Europe. That's what was actually the beginning of the spas. You know, they had a uh, warm, um, what do you call them? Uh, thermal baths. Thermal bath, and they built around it uh, 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 like a hospital almost. Right. It was medical. There's and one for he, and there's one for she. Uh, <laughs> it's yes. like him and her. Yes. <laughs> this, is the, this is the couple suite. Yep. It has a fireplace. Uh, it's utterly romantic. We had a, a gentleman from England here who proposed, and he rented this suite, the, the, the mm -hmm. couple suite, for the whole day. Mm -hmm. They had all their treatments there, and then he relaxed on that corner couch that you just showed uh, earlier uh, with a, a bottle of champagne, and then he... Proposed. So, let, let me ask you both. I want your your opinions on, on, on this. What makes this place so special? Why is it a special place? Why do the rich and famous want to come here? Um, I think it is the service ultimate, but it's also the quality. Everything is real. It's not uh, copies and make-believe. And they feel at home. They, they love the atmosphere. and. They feel it, you know. Uh, I guess one time, and I did not realize, said, you know, to wrap it all up, uh, the place has a soul. And I thought that was a nice way of you putting it. You concur with that, Renee? Absolutely. Yeah. She's, she's, you this feel is it when you walk in the design. This is, she's created her own world. Uh, she's created her own world and given it a good performance. Let me ask you, since the economy kind of crashed a little bit in 2008, has that hurt you? And if so, how much? Mm -hmm. It has, um, because uh, even the wealthy hold on to their money. They don't do right. what they have done before. It has, but we offer our guests midweek very special rates. Right. Um, all the people who are <coughs> on our mailing list, we sent them now and then a, right. uh, a special I know, offer. I know you mentioned to me yesterday you had up to 25, 30 weddings uh, a year. Now you're down to maybe 8 or 10. So that's right. kind of a sign of what the economy is doing. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, indeed. And we had weddings that were amazing. Cost was no object. You right. know, they wanted every right. little detail. Today everybody is looking for a special prize, a special... 
you know, it is uh, a different times. Um, is it difficult to keep this going, Renee, based yeah. on the economy, or is it? Are you doing okay? Well, we're, we're doing, hanging. On. We're hanging, hanging on. on. We're hanging, hanging on. on. It's yeah. the, the major difficulty is to do a good job for every person every day. Right. That's I think that's because it's so costly. We buy the it's best foods. It's a very complex lifestyle. <laughs> right. Well, you're the perfect couple. I admire you both. Uh, uh, Erna, you, you're so beautiful, and no. you've done such a great job. You've done a great job up there. You've got to be proud of her. To totally. She's done I a love great her job. Death. Erna, good to see you. Please come Thank back. You. Maybe you can come back okay. in April sometime. That's like the wedding season, the start of the wedding season. Yeah, right? we tell them all about it. Okay. Yes. Renee, you, good to see you. My pleasure nice seeing see you. you. All right, good yeah. luck out there. We're going to be you. back tomorrow. That's it for us today on Connect With Me. If you're watching Connect With Me, you're watching Me TV Fresno. Back tomorrow. Thank you.